everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a speedy review of this Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This is not a new foundation by any means. I think it's about two years old maybe and I'm on my second bottle of it. So that just goes to show how much I love it. I was having a conversation with a friend about this actually recently and we were kind of comparing it to the MAC Face and Body and she prefers that, I prefer this one. And so I thought I'd just turn this into a video for you because I absolutely love this foundation and I personally find videos like this really useful, especially at the moment because if you're in the market for a new foundation and with the whole COVID situation, you can't go out and test foundations as far as I know. You can't just get your makeup matched up in a, at a counter. So I think it's all about swatches and it's all about trying to find people with a similar skin tone to you to like get your right colour match. So for reference, I'm a MAC NC42. I know everyone always goes back to MAC when they try to find um, foundation shades. But anyway, moving on to this foundation, I have to be honest, I never thought I'd ever purchase a Dior foundation. If you guys have followed me for a while, you'll know that I'm quite vocal about not being keen to support brands that are not inclusive, that don't cater for Asian skin tones, and regardless of like how much I love other products from the brand, I just try not to like support them or promote them in any way. But Dior bought out 40 shades of this foundation, which is incredible. I haven't checked, but I'm sure, I'm pretty sure they cater for like the lightest white skin to the darkest black skin and all the olive tones in between, which is often overlooked. I always notice that, so I think, I think it's brilliant. And it may or may not have had anything to do with Fenty Beauty launching a few years ago because they literally broke the foundation market, like launching straight away, a brand new, unheard of brand, launching with 40 shades, I think it was, a foundation, and they cater for literally every single person. So I think a lot of brands have sort of jumped on this bandwagon, and it's not a bad thing at all, I think it's absolutely brilliant, so I'm really glad that Dior have done the same. And yeah, I love this foundation. I wear this in the shade 4WO, which is warm olive, it's what I have on at the moment, and it's the perfect match for my skin tone. The foundation comes in like a squeezy plastic bottle, like this, but it doesn't feel cheap. It's not like cheap plastic, it's really good quality. It has a screw top lid, as you just saw, and it has like a pump, so you literally just squeeze out. What I do is I put like three sort of dabs of it on my fingertips and just dot it around my face and blend it in with a damp sponge. I prefer using a damp sponge um, just to apply all foundation, even though I know that Dior's creative director slash makeup artist recommends applying this with your fingertips. You can do, I just don't like to get my fingers dirty when I'm applying my makeup because then you have to go wash your hands before you touch other products because it all just gets a bit grubby. So that's the only reason I don't use my fingers, to be honest. I don't think I mentioned that you get 50 mil of product in this and it retails for £29.50. So if you compare it to like price per mil, it is actually quite affordable because most foundations are 30 mil in size. The reason this is 50 mil is because it's a face and body foundation. So it's designed for makeup artists. You're gonna be using it on like larger areas like your body if you want to. And so you just get a bit more product. I've never used it on my body. I don't need to. And I guess most people, like the average person wouldn't need to. So you just get a lot of product for your face basically for a great price. If you're used to buying high-end foundations, then obviously this will be like really affordable. And if you're not, it is still quite an affordable foundation, I would say. And the reason I think it comes in a plastic bottle is because it's designed for makeup artists. It's called the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. And so if you're gonna buy all 40 shades for your kit, it would put me off if they were all glass bottles. I had to carry them around with me everywhere. And so this is why I think the packaging is plastic. But it also means that it's travel friendly. Not that we're traveling anywhere at the moment, but I do love the packaging. I think it's a great idea. So the foundation itself is light to medium coverage and it is buildable. So if you have sort of flawless skin or you just prefer a natural look, you can just apply one layer. If you have problem skin, you can apply two layers or even three layers to really build it up. I have tried that myself and personally, it's not for me. I would say I have generally, like touch wood, pretty good skin. It's not flawless by any stretch of the imagination, but I don't mind like my natural skin showing through in foundation. I just don't like a heavy, cakey sort of finish. And so for me, one layer is perfect and I just love it. But like I said, you could build it up. The consistency is thin, but it's not too runny. So 
if like me you sort of squeeze a little bit onto your fingertips it will run a little bit but it won't sort of drip off your fingers once you have it on your fingertips or on your skin you need to work quite quickly because it starts to set pretty quickly you do have enough time to blend it but just be warned that it can set quicker than some other foundations but I will say that it blends absolutely beautifully it doesn't exaggerate any sort of large pores on my face it doesn't cling to dry patches or sit in any fine lines or wrinkles and I just love the dewy finish that leaves on my skin I personally never use primer and I never set my foundation with powder today I have on my t-zone just because I'm filming this video but normally in real life I never set my foundation I just feel like I don't need it because I don't have oily skin and I just like I said like the natural sort of skin look I think this would work for all skin types it'd be great for dry skin it I have normal skin so it's perfect for me if you have oily combination skin I think it would also work I would just you may just need to set it with powder depending on how oily your skin is whether it's your whole face or just your t-zone um obviously that's up to you but i do think it's a good all-rounder one that works for every skin type um especially if you like a dewy finish and a natural skin like look to your foundation i think it's great oh and the other thing is i think it has it has a very faint perfumey scent that could be the only potential con if you don't like fragrance in your products it doesn't linger by the time i've applied my foundation you can't even smell it anymore and it is very very faint it's quite floral but it's not offensive in any way it just some people just don't like fragrance at all in their products so if that's you you may not be a fan and the other thing is it's also transfer resistant so if i was to like touch my face even when i'm a little bit sweaty and um, i'm not at the moment but it doesn't like transfer onto my hands i haven't tested it with like a white t-shirt but I have a feeling that, that wouldn't work <laughs> the only time it does transfer is when you wear glasses or sunglasses because i've never in my entire life found a foundation that doesn't leave those two awful marks just on the side of your nose whenever you wear glasses or sunglasses but yeah that is all i have to say about this foundation i absolutely love it if you've tried it let me know your thoughts in the comments below i'd be interested to know if there are any other dior foundations that have a similar shade to this so if you've tried one please let me know in the comments down below but i really hope you found this video helpful if you did then please give it a big thumbs up thank you so much for watching i'll see you very soon with a new video bye